Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. The Ice Tea Retirement Plan, that's what I like to call it. Because I do all my <laughs> all my planning right here in this chair. Well, usually with a glass of tea. I just finished it off. <laughs> so I ain't doing it right now. But, uh, you know, I believe in keeping things pretty daggone simple. You know, five, ten minutes here and there. And you should be good to go. I see right now I run a 70-30 split. And I just let it eat. And I'm putting my money in every week. And have been for years. And just letting it eat. It goes down, it goes down, it goes up, it goes up. So, I, I don't know. People don't think about their retirement. They just don't think about it. I don't know if it's too far off or what. I don't understand. And then the ones that do th or get intimidated because they see them big numbers out there. Well, I'm going to need a million and a half, 2.7 million or whatever to retire. And they just don't understand that, you know, that's all inclusive. I mean, you're going to get Social Security, chances are. If you got any kind of annuity or, um, a pension plan of any kind it um uh, you know and that's part of that so you can take that off of that 2.7 or you know 4.5 whatever your number is going to be and that makes a big difference i mean that that cuts it over half of it it does if you sit down and figure your numbers that's a key part. You got to figure your numbers. But, uh, yeah, I, and I don't think that intimidation factor should be there because it's, it's not like you got to come up with that 2.7 million and eh, tomorrow. You know what I mean? You got 30 or 40 years to work to get there. You know, what you're essentially doing is you are, you, you're making installment payments on free time I mean, it's pretty much all you're doing you got people to, to go out and buy don't blink an eye at paying five hundred dollars six hundred dollars or more for a vehicle every month chances are they're only going to keep it at 10 years or less and they don't they don't bat an eye at that but they won't save a hundred dollars a month for retirement you know i i don't understand that mentality you know, I mean, you're not going to be able to enjoy your retirement right now. But when the come, time comes, you'll be able to enjoy it. You know, you're making a down payment for future, uh, for future, um, for a future lifestyle is what you're doing. It's essentially what you're doing. You know, as long as you are, uh, as long as you save and invest a little bit when you can. You know, of course, your working career shouldn't be that big a deal. You know, I think one of the big problems is people just don't think about it. You've got too much going on in your life. Life's expensive and it's chaotic. And you only have room to think about so much. You know, little Johnny got to go to ball game tonight. Little Donald's got to go to dance class. You know, need a new water heater. Car needs set of tires on it and there's other things getting away life gets in the way and uh they just don't think about it i don't believe they don't have time between that and the uh, intimidation factor of, the, of what you're going to need to put back is uh it's probably the two biggest limiting factors i believe in people saving but i believe more people are saving than they put on you read all these doom and gloom articles and hear about them on the TV and stuff about the state of retirement. And I I just don't believe. I, I think bad news sells. That's <laughs> what I think. If it bleeds, it leads or whatever. And I think that's what they got. And I think it's all a, what do you call that, Madison Avenue ploy. You know, well, you ain't saving it enough. You need to come with us and we'll show you how stuff like that i think that's what it is madison avenue has world ruined the country for it's done a lot of bad in the country how's that 
probably done as much bad or more than it has good. Because, hey, I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> I'm telling you. They could, they could sell you an idea up yonder. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just my two cents on my simple plan. I'm just a simple man <laughs> sitting here in the chair. Well, y'all give me your thoughts. Maybe I got it all backwards. Maybe I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And ain't no guarantee mine's going to work. But, I mean, what other choice I got? I could stay working for a few more years, but is that going to guarantee it? Not really. So, you know, life's a gamble. You take your shots when you get them. If you, if you fail, you can get up and go at it again. So, well, y'all be good. We'll talk at you later.